Okay, you're welcome back to the tutorial. At uh, this point, uh, we'll need to generate some grid setup or option for the docking. Okay, uh, we've already prepared our protein and our ligand, but we need to generate some grid setups, okay, or option from the protein, okay, that will enable our command, you know, to, to actually perform the function we want them to, or to perform, okay, to add grid setups. We'll simply go to our grid. Okay, you can see grid option under the ligand row. You can see grid. Simply click on grid. Okay, it will ask you to open this. No, we'll go to our what? Our macro molecule. Okay, and now open it. Okay, if you open it, this is where it takes you to. But mine is on my desktop, so I'll go to my desktop, my docking tutorial. Okay. I'm supposed to add the grid setups towards my protein. Okay, that is the options where I want the ligand to be to be located. Okay, or where I want the docking to occur. I will need to indicate it through my 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 uh, grid setups. Okay, it has to do with options and numeric numbers. Okay, so I will simply go to my my protein here. As you can see, it's already in what in PDBQT format, meaning it has earlier been prepared using this particular tool. So I'll just select the protein and I'll open it. It will ask me if I want to retain all I've already prepared about this particular protein. I'll tell it yes. Okay. I'll go ahead and say yes. And it will load in my protein. Okay. For me to do whatever I want to do with it. Yes, it will still give me this option. Say this, 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 and then ask me that this actually contains no non-bonded atom, which is fine. I've already prepared that. For this before so i'll say okay then this is my protein from what i prepared before okay so what do i do i just need to add few grid setup and like i said it's just targeting or trying to to uh, position your protein in such a way that the ligand will be directed to a particular portion for what for docking okay where the ligand will have to locate itself during the docking process that's simply what we want to add now if you don't do so, the ligand will have a way of just binding to any portion or any uh, side of the protein without locating the active site or where you want it to bind to. And it's at this particular point that if you have a site directed or site specific molecular docking, it's at this particular portion uh, or, or time that you do what? You compare those features or put in those options in your protein. And allow the docking to occur at your own preferred portion or preferred pocket. Okay. To do that, I will simply go to my grid. Okay, I've already opened it. So I'll go to set map types. Okay. Set what map types. The map is where you want the docking to occur. Okay. I'll simply set it what directly. Okay. If I click on set directly, it will, it will tell me do I want map type this? I'll say yes. I'll accept it. Okay. These are default commands, okay? The ones you need to accept, you just accept it and it will be done, okay? So I'll still go back to my grid. I've already set my map types, okay? Then the next thing is my grid word box. I'll click on my grid box, okay? Once I click on my grid box, something has appeared here, okay? Can you see that? Something has appeared here. This thing that appeared here is where the, the ligand is likely going to bind to, okay? That is the pocket where the ligand is going to bind to. If you want to edit anything here, okay, all these knobs here is movable, okay? Can you see that? The more you move it, can you see as it's affecting the structure of that inside? Can you see that? Okay, so I have 40 here. I'll just make use of the default uh, setup, okay, which is 40. This is what I have, except I have a side directed docking, okay, where I have a specific amino acid i want the binding to occur then i can make use of that but aside that i can just use the default setup as generated here okay so this is the default setup before you close this setup it's always important you set you save these options here okay because you'll be needing this while preparing a file we call the config file the config file is still going to be part of the docking material okay that your system is going to recognize before docking is done okay so what do i do i'll go to this file and i'll close i will save output grid dimension file okay i'm going to save it 
I'll locate where my file is. This is where my file is. I'll open it. Okay. And then I will save this as grid, grid file. Okay. I'll save this as grid file. This is my grid file. Then I will just click on save. Okay. And I have a copy of this information saved on my file. Okay. In case I use it for another thing else. So, so simply I will just go to my file again and do what? And close without saving. Okay. I've already got that done. Okay. Uh, that's all. The next thing is simply to save my what? My grid option. Okay. I'm done preparing the grid setup. So I'll simply go to my what? My output. Okay. I've done the grid box. I'll simply go to my output and do what? And save it as GPF file. Okay. I can click on that and it will take me to where my documents are. I'll simply go to my desktop and go to my tutorial. Okay. I can label this as grid option. Okay. And if that is done, I'll click on my save. Okay. As I've done that, I've saved my words, my option. Okay. Remember why saving the grid option, you have to go to grid, go to, sorry, why adding your grid box. Okay. After you add your grid box, when this appears, okay, when you're done saving the file dimension, okay, you simply save to close this, you save without what, you close without what, without saving, okay, you don't need to save, uh, close saving current this, just close without what, saving this way, and it's closed, okay, and you are done with that. So this is how we prepare our files, our protein, our ligand, and our grid option for what molecular docking all are ready now the next thing is to perform your molecular docking thank you and see you in the next video